Facilitating a Highest Good Society Model. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 132. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 132, October 4th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to receive, or if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, everything that I'm talking about, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and receive updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written content for the Recreation and Relaxation lesson plan to the website. You can see this here. This lesson plan, purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of Recreation and Relaxation, is now 100% complete on our website. We also wrote the final third of the creativity lesson plan behind the scenes, bringing the written portions of that one to 100% complete. And finally, we completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the recreation and relaxation lesson plan to the web page. You can see that portion of the mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Ahipa Hub. The open source large scale gardening hub portion of our website also reached 100% completion this week. So take a look there for growing information and recipes for many different varieties of edible plants. Last but not least, we added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the food self sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are bittersweet chocolate muffins, quinoa salad with toasted hazelnuts, and roasted cauliflower with rice. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on highest good housing continued what we hope will be the final revision of the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's work included more floor construction narrative additions, describing the concrete pour process, screening method, and other concrete details, adding more details and formatting to the twine and barbed wire sections, and more bag prep and filling specifics. We'd say we're now 35% complete with this behind the scenes revision. We also created this updated image for the footers foundation and flooring. Next, we'll use this image to further update the AutoCAD files. On the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, we created this AutoCAD update to the aesthetics of what the central foldable chimney will look like, 
And additionally, we completed about 25% of the revisions, rewriting, and alignment corrections to the presentation the intern team created for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. The initial work for this was led by Anna Carolina Samoa Faria, industrial design and service design student. Well, here you can see the sneak previews of this project developing behind the scenes. Complete details will be released on our website when the revision process is 100% complete. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week's work was focused on updating the dining dome walk-in freezers and refrigerators, and what you see here are the preliminary designs. Iris Shu, industrial designer, also began evolving the pipe furniture design, started with the intern team, and progressed working with our core team. Here you can see her initial process book exploring the options. We also continue transferring the updates from Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to the Control Systems and Automation page. You can see this work here, and we'd say we're about 40% complete with total page redesign. And behind the scenes, Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student working under Mike's guidance, continued working on one of the room connector decks for the control systems and for the, or rather, control systems for the Duplicate City Center. What you just saw here were a couple fun screenshots from one of our collaborative calls, including Mike in Canada, Jay in the US, and Lucas in Brazil. All of us discussing what you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued updating all our Help Wanted pages and our online marketing campaigns. This week, we finished updating the Legal Help Wanted page that you can see here. Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, also completed the second 50% of writing the open source and copyrights and trademarking tutorial. This was all done behind the scenes, and then our core team started adding Oz's work to the website. What you see here is the first 50% of this work on the site. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is facilitating a Highest Good Society model. What this means is we are designing open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for creating a model of the world that works for everyone. More specifically, our idea is to demonstrate a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world that teaches others how to build a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub too. And the idea of the highest good society model is that these living models provide a way of life that most people will consider to be superior to the way that they're living now, but more importantly, they contribute more than they take from society. They create an environment where people are working together, cooperating, and collaborating because they have enough to share with others. And the model itself is designed to grow and evolve and expand and succeed the more people help others to do and live in a fulfilled and, and cooperative and collaborative way also. We call this an evolution of sustainability because what it does is it takes the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and it combines them with the foundations of emotional sustainability that, we've that we have identified as high school education, high school economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. We put these two things together to create a way of life that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now, that's more affordable, it provides more time to do the things that people love to do, more activities for those people to participate in, and we see it as truly bridging the gap between idealism and pragmatism. Creating a way for us to create an ideal world or a world that works for everybody, that feeds everybody, that addresses all of the most challenging aspects of our civilization right now simultaneously, because we see them as not only interconnected, but as interdependent. And so 
For us, we look at this and we say, well, if we're going to facilitate a highest good society model, we're going to address all aspects of society sustainably and simultaneously in a way that helps others to do this as well and create a self-replicating model that can teach more and more people to do this so that we can transform this planet, our planet, our shared world for everybody within our lifetime. This is what one community is up to. And we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that a highest good society model is not only possible, that it's necessary, and that now is the time. People that believe that the resources, the technology, and the desire is sufficient in today's culture right now to facilitate a highest good society model that will spread on its own, transform this world into a world that meets the needs of everybody simultaneously within our lifetime. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like a worthwhile cause, venture, adventure, something that you'd like to get involved with, we have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and help build all of one community, the prototype that will invite tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit and experience one community if they like what they see, to take it all and to be able to go and duplicate it anywhere else in the world. The people that are coordinating that at the core of our organization. Or the other options are to, to participate as either a consultant or volunteer working on the outside, or just helping by sharing our information through social media is amazingly beneficial. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Sue, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks, LinkedIn, to make it as easy as possible for people to take our information, get it in the hands of other people so that we can build our group, our team, that's working on all these open source tools, tutorials, and resources so we can complete them faster. The number one thing that one community is seeking right now is large scale funding. That funding will help us take the property that we've been working with and designing around for the last five years off the market so we can share the location, so that we can share the details of that property and why it was chosen, why it is the ideal place to eventually host hundreds of thousands of people visiting and seeing what one community is all about, taking those blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and going out and doing their own job of facilitating a highest good society model in their own way, adapting and modifying and creating additional iterations with the help of one community so that we can affect and, and assist as many people as possible, as quickly as possible with the self-replicating model. And that one thing, getting the property off the market, is what we see as the fastest way to multiply our team, which means it's the fastest way to exponentially increase our productivity and to put out even more open source tools, tutorials, blueprints, etc., and help even more people faster. So this is what one community is up to. This is how we're facilitating a highest good society model. Our idea of highest good society is people working together. It's cooperation and collaboration. It's understanding that we don't have to compete with each other, that we get more when we give more, that we can help more if we work together and that there is truly enough for all of us, that the technology, the know-how, and the willpower, and now with our organization, we'd like to believe the leadership and the clear path, the clear road, the guidance to create a world that truly works for everybody, simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation and generations to come in a way that is by definition sustainable, creates happier, healthier people, helping to create more happier, healthier people. This is what One Community is all about. So we're an all-volunteer group. None of us are paid. We thank everybody for following our progress. We thank you for sharing our work. We thank you for the small donations, the $5 donations, $10 donations, the $50 donations. Every once in a while, when we get a $100 donation, it makes a really big difference to our nonprofit and the overhead expenses of operating because none of us are paid. And so the expenses of operating one community come out of our pockets and are 100% supported by the donations from others. And so whatever can't be covered by those donations is covered by us. And so we're infinitely grateful for the emails, for the comments, for the donations, for the thank yous, for the likes, for the shares, all the little ways that people support us. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.